DXO PhotoLab 5 officially supports Fuji X-Trans RAW files from Fuji X-Series cameras, which is a fantastic news. And today in this video, I'm going to show you, I'm actually going to just edit a photo taken with my Fuji X-T20 camera. And just gonna do a quick edit so that you can get a basic idea how to edit a Fuji RAW file and particularly, which is more important, um, applying the Fuji film simulation in the photo, which is phenomenal. So it's basically becoming the same as a Capture One Adobe or Silky Pix Double Opera Studio Pro, which is the native um, RAW editor for Fuji RAW files, where you can actually apply the Fuji film simulation, obviously. Um, so this video is going to be a collaboration of DxO PhotoLab 5 with Fuji Film Pack. My apologies, DxO Film Pack 6. And if you already bought and installed D, um, DxO Film Pack 6, it should be by default automatically inside nested um, inside the DxO PhotoLab. 6 by default so you just don't have to go back and forth you can apply directly there all the film simulations so without any further ado let's show you exactly how to do that now before i jump into the details one simple and sincere request please do like and subscribe if you like this video and if you want to contribute please go down to the description and click on all the affiliated links if you if any products interest you it helps me a lot, gives me, I get some commission, it doesn't cost you extra. And if you want to contribute more, obviously, um, that would be just phenomenal and awesome of you. Um, you can be my Patreon subscriber or you can chip in something in my PayPal donation link. You know, anything helps psychologically or financially helps me motiv motivates me to continue uh, making videos in this um, worldwide crisis if you know what i mean so any help you know it's really appreciated now let's do a quick edit of a fuji raw file how do i do that so i'm i'm a simple guy so i just i don't fill around too much with um, with the knobs and buttons i go straight forward so what i do i start from the left i'm gonna close on and I click auto, see if it's working. So I'm gonna start with the contrast. And if it's working, I just don't go any further than that. And Fuji camera is already fantastic. So I don't need to do much more than that. And then I see, I click clear view plus, you know, see before and after. It's a little too contrasty. I like a soft look, right? So I don't, use it all the time it's not really a hazy photo anyway so i don't see any reason to use it exposure looks good to me just actually better than good i'm gonna check on my histogram so um i don't know exactly where is it so in palettes i have histogram here so it should be somewhere there there you go so histogram looks good too the red channel is a little bit too much what i can do i can go to the selective tone Maybe slow down the, the highlights. Now it looks nice and soft. And if I want to add contrast, I just don't do anything else except tone curve. So maybe, just maybe, you know, I can just pull up the lower shadow part so it looks much flatter, which is kind of like a film look. Pull down the shadow a little bit, pull up the lower mid-tone just a touch and it's already looking much better in my eyes. Now, that's it. Uh, other than that, I didn't do anything at all. Like I just go to the color. Color, to be honest with you, looks good. Mm, I don't like saturated photos. HSL is phenomenal. I'm not gonna use it in this case. I'm just gonna try because I was there. I know exactly how the Colosseum looks like. Maybe it's a little too flat, so I could add a little bit um, red in the red channel, obviously. So I'm gonna click there and turn up the saturation, maybe a notch, pull down the luminance because it's a little bit too bright to me. Uh, looks good to me. I'm not gonna do anything at all. I'm just gonna turn off the, the dropper. 
white balance also looks phenomenal to me. Good thing about the hybrid because you can actually fix everything in camera so you don't need to do too much editing. So when I was taking the photo I knew I could see my final result inside the camera so that's the beauty of it. It's not really like a DSLR where you know you see later or maybe on the spot etc etc. While I was clicking the shutter button I knew my result. So that's the beauty of it. So that means that I can use, I can save a significant amount of time in post, which is I'm doing right now. So I'm happy about it. So I'm going to go to the lens section, turn on the lens sharpness. Generally looks good. Um, the, the lens is already sharp. Huh, Fuji lens are phenomenal. I don't need uh, any other extra help. It's also sharp um, as well. So I don't need to add extra sharpness because I, I just, I don't know why people add too much sharpness, you know. Sharpness is not everything. Resolution is not everything. So people just need to calm the fish down for a second with the sharpness and resolution. My goodness, just go out and take some beautiful photos like here. Like if I t had taken the photo with my smartphone, I would be still happy because I just get to be inside the Colosseum and could see this beautiful wonder in my own eyes so um, one of my dream came true uh, that cannot be more than a resolution and sharpness to be honest with you so um, i'm not really down to it um a sky is not that much here even though it's a plain sky but it's not that much i need some kind of depth so i need a little bit of sky there so i'm not gonna crop it crop down more sky there looks good horizon let's see what it gives me if i turn on hmm, Again, uh, I was checking the horizon while I was taking taking the photo. So, uh, so far so good. Distortion, it's interesting, it's fixed the distortion. The Fuji lenses are generally good uh, with the distortion, but in this case, it looks like it's not. And I'm gonna do a auto crop. Boom, done. Uh, let's see a comparison before and after, so before after before after look you know didn't do much and it's already good local adjustment i could think of one local adjustment which is the sky maybe i could add some more saturation in the sky so i'm gonna turn on local adjustment right click it turn on the control line mm, that should be enough maybe a little bit on the side Maybe tilt it on the corner by corner like that. Pull down a little bit and now that looks even much better. Now in order to look at my mask, where am I applying? I can click M and there you go. I can clearly see where I'm applying my mask. Now in the mask selectivity, I can play the chroma channel, make it a bit more selective. Luma channel to play with the uh, luminance channel of the blue so that what i can say now the sky is affected but the colosseum inside not much almost non-existent so i can click m again and go to the saturation where is it where is my saturation i can see it there you go that's the saturation and pull up a little bit to give some punch in the sky. That looks good to me. I'm not gonna do much than that. And turn off the local adjustment. I can get out of there. Now I'm, I'm actually done. That's the beauty of it. How long it took? I'm gonna check the timetable. Where is my timetable? Give me a second. I've been talking from the beginning. So, so far, uh, obviously I'm gonna cut the video uh, to get rid of all this um um and all this etc but so far I'm recording for 10 minutes and half of the time I took just to talk to you uh, normally each photo I take even less than four minutes not even that's my patient for photo editing that's why I t do my best to you know um, do my best to take the best photo at the very beginning so that I don't spend too much time in front of the camera, in front of the computer. So this is the fun part. So I'm going to go to the apply preset. In this case, I'll go all the way down. And you have the DxO Film Pack Designer. In there, 
you have all the Fuji film simulation Fuji Classic Chrome, Classic Chrome Plus, Negative, Fuji Eterna, uh, Fuji Proneg High, and Fuji Proneg Standard. My personal favorite, typically either Eterna for a flat look or Fuji Classic Chrome. Now, inside this um, preview, the Classic Chrome looks a bit more contrasty, so I'm gonna stay away from that. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go to the Eterna, um, you know, or Fuji Pronex standard. So there you go, and boom. How awesome is that? And I'm gonna give you a full screen look. Are you ready? In three, two, one. And boom, that's it. Wonderful location, wonderful camera, and wonderful and efficient editing in DxO Photo Lab 5 in collaboration with DxO Film Pack 6. Life is beautiful. So I hope your life is as beautiful as I'm feeling right now. And if you like to support, as I said at the beginning, please do go down to the description and show me support any way possible with your words or any kind of financial donation would be much appreciated. Look after yourself. I hope you're in good health. See you later. Bye-bye.